Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel. And in today's very special video, I'll be explaining you to you guys finally how to display any type of notification within Zooper Widget using Tasker. So without any further ado, let us begin with today's new video. Great, so first off, I'd like to give credits to Alexander Hecht or Jaguar, as this is pretty much his exact tutorial, but in video form. So let's begin. You of course will need Tasker and Zooper Widget installed onto your phone, but that is pretty much it. I always recommend using Zooper Widget Pro as you can import custom templates as well as do many other things and it is simply awesome. Carrying on from the previous video in which I set up this very home screen, I'll be describing how to get your Google Hangouts, your WhatsApp notifications, your Google Plus notifications, or basically anything that can display a notification onto this area. However, for this video, I'll be using Google Hangouts as that's quite a common notification to have. Part one, Tasker setup. Starting off, you'll need to create a task that'll tell Tasker what to do when Google Hangouts receives a new message. To do this, simply go into the tasks tab and select the plus icon. I'm gonna call this new task, new hang. In the task edit screen, press the plus icon at the bottom and now choose variables. Select the variable add option and give it a name, such as percentage count hang. This variable will later be transferred to Zupa. Please take note that you need to use capital letters because it is a global variable. The value here is plus one because every time you receive a new notification, the value will then increase by one. Save this by selecting the back button. Now we need to add in the Zupa widget plugin. So select the plus icon once again and hit plugin this time around. I'll choose Zupa widget pro and then select the pencil or edit icon. Remember you can still do this with Zupa widget. I just prefer using pro. The ZW variable names your variable in Zupa and ZW text is your task variable or actually its value. Tasker shows me that I'll have to use the pound sign T and then include the name of my variable as the text within Zupa and then hit the pound sign or the hashtag symbol once again. You can give this any name, but hang works well for me in my situation as it's short and easy to remember. And from here, you just need to hit save and then select the back button. If your setup looks like this, then good. Now hit the back button once again. Now you need to create a task that tells Tasker to reset the variable or count to zero when Hangouts is opened, else it'll just keep adding every time you receive a notification, which is not good. I'll call this new task Empty Hang. Now in the task edit screen, select the plus icon and at the bottom choose variables. This time around, however, you wanna select the variable set and name your variable as before. Set the value to zero, remember that, and hit the back button to save. Once you're back in the task edit screen, select the plus icon at the bottom, choose plugin, and then Zupa Widget Pro. Select the pencil icon again and type in exactly the same information as before. Once you're done, you can then hit the save icon and then select the back button. Now you can see your finished task. Save this again by hitting the back button and now it should be looking pretty good. Now you need to add some new profiles. As Tasker knows what to do, it's just the when which is a problem. Simply select the profiles tab and select the plus icon and then choose events. Now select UI and then choose notification. From here, select the owner application icon and choose hangouts or whichever app that you started this video with. Select back and don't forget to assign new hang as the task. This will now cause Zupa to display a one if I get a new Hangouts message. Pretty neat. But now I want to reset the count when I open Hangouts. For this, create a second profile titled Empty Hang. Select application this time around and I'll choose Hangouts because that's the app that I want to link. Then select back and always don't forget to assign the empty hang task to it so it'll then reset the count when you open Hangouts. 
your setup should now look like this. And if it does, then great. If not, then you may have missed a few steps, so just go back and check to see what you may have missed. We're done now with the tasker part, now on to Zupa. Part 2, Zupa Setup. Now moving on to the Zupa part, remember we added in these two widgets in the previous video, so I'll open the top one as that's where I want to place my count. See in the description below for a link to this very setup to make your life a whole lot easier. If you don't want to add in this very home screen, you are welcome to just to simply add in a text or a rich text module. It doesn't really matter, but here I'll be editing the rich text module for the message counter. So I'll now select this message rich text module and once it's open, I'll scroll down to the edit text manually and simply place in the task variable, which was the pound sign T because it's a task variable and hang and then of course ending it off with a pound or hashtag symbol. So therefore if you used WhatsApp, you then rename this variable accordingly. Finish off by selecting the tick icon. If nothing shows up, have no fear. It could just be that you just don't have any notifications to display. You can then test to see if it's working by opening Tasker, selecting the new hang task, and then simply hit the play icon. Remember now that the notification won't disappear until you open the app. You also may notice that a red block appears when you receive a notification. The author here simply added an advanced parameter to the messages background that will only display the task variable when it is more than one. See below in the description on how to add conditions and advanced parameters within Zupa. Other than that, this now concludes this video. As you can see, Tasker isn't too bad after all, and once you get the hang of it, it can get very handy. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel, as we may even include more Tasker videos later on. So other than that, it is Marco here from the My Color Screen channel, and as always, don't stop customizing.